I'm going to show you different uh, things linked to NABID, which is a system gathering all medical information done in Dubai. Not only you will send information, but you will get access to the information of the medical done in Dubai using NABID. For this reason, it is mandatory to use a patient management software, PMS, which is compliant to NABI when you work in Dubai. So this is the introduction to Accudent, including the uh, all what is required with NABI. Not only it's mandatory to use such a medical uh, software, but it is needed for you to use it in a right way. If you don't use it in the right way, Nabid will be on your back and will ask you to make corrections in the way you are working. The first thing, which is very important, is the settings. You go to the settings and you look at the practitioners. In this case, we have one, two, three, four practitioners. Do not play in a wrong way with Nabid. If you have three dentists working in the clinic, you need to apply for the three dentists. You cannot apply for one dentist and you don't declare the two others. Every dentist must be declared and every patient must be linked to a practitioner. So this is very important to understand and very important to do. Now let's go to the diary. When a patient is coming, that's Daniel Ocampo. Okay, I click on this patient and the secretary will click on patients arrived. You have to click on patients arrived. And when you click on patients arrived, I'm going to click now, click. Okay, patients is arrived. Everything which I will do, like I'm doing a prescription, I'm doing a, I'm, I'm doing a procedure, I'm, I'm doing whatever I do, it will be sent to Nabid. And then when the patient will leave, I need to click on discharge. But if I forget to clean on discharge or if I need to wait because I need to add a few things, uh, I will not click on discharge immediately. By default, by midnight on the same day, the uh, button discharge will be clicked automatically. So no worries about that. You can do it in this way. So the second point is that if you did not click on patients arrived and if you didn't click on discharge and you want to work adding something and without patient you can go and click on send to nabi so most of the time you will click on patients arrived and dispatch and in some uh, cases you can also send that to nabi without patient the second important point is that you have to fill all the data in a good way to Nabil. The first thing to fill is the date of birth. If there is no date of birth following this format, you will not be able to work with Nabil. Nabil will come to you and say, you cannot do that. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. In the mobile number, you have a mobile number. In some cases, some patients, they have the same mobile number and the same WhatsApp number. So no need to do the same print, uh, the same typing two times. You just edit the mobile number and click on this button. WhatsApp number is same as the mobile number and it will be displayed in the WhatsApp uh, number. Also, when you do something on email, you need to validate the email. An email of confirmation will be sent to the patient and you can do it by the uh, patient or by yourself if you One thing very important also is that when you put an ID card and we have a system so that you don't spend time, you will just take a picture of the ID card and it will implement all the data that we can do, date of birth, name, first name, gender and all that you need to have the document ID. So this is the document ID number for an Emirates ID. 
and you should follow this compliance system. Don't put uh, uh, 784 and ash and a number and ash before two. So you need to put all together. And this is the way uh, Nabid wants that to be saved. So you go to all this, you click also the state of residence, if any. So you work on, on that. What's very important also is that when you put an insurance, so you will put the expiry date, let's say next year, yeah, but you put the company also, Adnik, for example, and you put the insurance number. Don't forget to put the insurance number. If you don't put the insurance number, uh, Nabid will come back to you and tell you, you are missing the insurance number. And this is things that you can avoid to fill. You are going to click on uh, patient is same as the insured. For example, the, the father is insured and is doing for himself, or the patient is the daughter and the uh, insured uh, name is the father. So we have the same, same, and we have a nationality here, which is the Italy. So Italy, uh, Italy. Okay, so now you can uh, you can add something here, but this is not Nabid. Uh, the patient will receive an email just the day before the appointment, and we say, when this is said, you've been working in a good way with Nabid. So um, these are all important things to to do, and then we go to the next step. We are I, I forgot to talk to you about that. In this, you have also something which is important, is option out or option in. This means that in some cases, a patient does not want you to send information to Nabid for her, okay? So in this case, the facility will be opt out and will not send anything, or all the facilities will not send anything. Most of the time, we don't select that. We keep like this and it's working very well like this. So now let's go to uh, something particular and uh, uh, I will show you that. You go to utilities and you go to list of medicines. In the list of medicines, if I click here, I have Ampiclox 250 milligrams and this is the name including the DDC. DDC means, means Dubai Drug Code. You need to add the code. This is the code of uh, me, this medicine. Uh, we can provide you the list of all the codes and you will be able to add more medicines if it's needed. And then you write the quantity, it's just a number. You write the form. So it's milligram, milliliters, tablets, capsule, ointment, spoon, whatever it is. You can have all these things. The dosage is one, two, three, four, five X. And the time, so every three, three times, every six hours, three times daily, whatever you want, uh, you can select uh, what you want. And every time you select something, you go to wording and you see that it's displaying good, same as it will be displayed on the prescription form. So you do that. And um, if there is in, any interaction, uh, you be careful and you will, will work on that. So let's go back to the patient's file. We go to the patient's file. We go now to prescription. So in prescription, NABIS does not allow you to make acute infection and you do always the same thing for acute infection. This is not allowed by NABID. What is allowed only is to start from a blank prescription. You come here and you are going to add whatever you want to add. So uh, let's say uh, I, I go to Zyrtec. Okay. Uh, I, I go to uh, I go to Advil, and uh, so I, I remove the attack because it's not filled. I put Advil, 200 milligrams, and this is the details of what the patient needs to take. So if I have another uh, patient, 
uh, I, I put a flagil also and I save. So what I see on top is that this will be linked to the procedure and this is NABID option also. You can remove Advil or flagil if you want. So uh, we are going to save it. I'm going to show you that in full. We save that. It's a prescription. You can print it. You can send it. It will look like this. And then when I go to history and I look at the prescription, I can see it here. Okay. I have the prescription, which is here. Okay. So you have all the details of what you can do with a prescription. Another example for Nabid is that when I take one OPG, the OPG is there in the patient's file. I go to the list of prescription. I go to uh, OPG and here at the bottom, I can uh, edit on bottom on the comment one, comment two, whatever comment you use, it will go to Nabid as the uh, information about uh, what you see. I see that there is enough bone to place an implant in position 36, for example. So I save these changes and these changes, when the patient will come, will be sent automatically to her. And we see here that in the comment, you have the comment which is coming. This is the report that can be done on an X-ray or OPG or CT scan. You can also do a report based on the list of reports. You can make a report, a report with diagnosis, whatever you choose, it will be given to you in uh, such a, a template and uh, you can add whatever you want. But uh, adding uh, X-rays and adding pictures uh, will not work with uh, Nabid. Nabid is taking only written information. We can go to the uh, uh, medical. This is a medical questionnaire. And this medical questionnaire, you can fill it in such a way that you will know. For example, the patient has cholesterol, okay, the date of today, and it is active, it is chronic, okay? So you go down and you save. When you save, you will come to the chart, and in the chart, at the bottom, you will see that the patient has body temperature in degrees, drug allergy, penicillin, and all these things, and cholesterol that we just added. So no need to go to a different place to know what the patient has. And there are three kinds of questionnaires, the medical questionnaire, the chief complaint, which are linked to the dentistry. I have a broken tooth. I have a priority request to uh, change the, uh, the crowns. Uh, whatever they will say will be implemented in the questionnaire. And the other one, the third one, is vitals and allergy. So vitals, when you have the blood pressure systolic, so let's say uh, you put uh, uh, 130, and the diastolic, diastolic will come here, and you put uh, 70, uh, two, for example, and then you go down and you can save it. And this will come again on your patient's file uh, at the, okay, so it's saving. Okay, it's saving, it's done. So I go to chart and I have the new um, uh, description of what the patient has, which is coming here. So all this is uh, Nabid, and um, and this is the way to work with Nabid. So it's mandatory to do all these things. It's mandatory to send some medical. If you don't send, they will come back to you. And all that is mandatory to do with Nabid. So then you see there is a number 5104. And when you click on Nabid, you will log in and you will enter to the NABID portal. And for that, you will have your remember 5104. And based on 5104, okay, in this case, it will not work. But when you make a search, you will, you will see all the history of the patient 
for you displayed not at your place only, but everywhere where the patient has been coming. So this is a demo case, so there is nothing, but uh, for a real case, you will have all the access to all the history based on NABID. NABID link is here on top. Voila, I thank you for your attention. It's a bit heavy, but it's mandatory to work same as what NABID is expecting you to work with them.